So that's Romans 14, verse 15. Yet if your brother is grieved because of your food, you are no longer walking in love. Do not destroy with your food the one for whom Christ died. So who's the one for whom Christ died? It's his entire bride, his community, uh, the body of Christ, all of us, the entire church. And so don't destroy that for the sake of food. If what, if what you're choosing to eat, if what you're choosing to eat is contrary to God's perfect will, you're choosing to eat the, the flesh of suffering creatures and the products of their pain and their torture, just contrary to what is good, and you're causing grief to those who, who love God, who love his creation, then you're the one who's not walking in love. You're the one who's causing the problem, not the one who's grieved by it, who's bringing it to your attention. And so we want to turn from that. We want to no longer walk contrary to love. We want to instead walk in love in all things. So Paul says, I will never eat meat again for this reason. And so if eating animal flesh uh, is the reason that we're failing to uh, uphold this unity of peace and love and joy uh, within his community of believers, then it's we who need to change. And so uh, who is causing the division? Is it the vegans or is it the non-vegans? And so the vegans are living according to this, this will, at least insofar as being stewards of animals. And so they're not the ones causing division. It's the ones who are refusing them that are causing the division. Thanks for watching that video. And be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. And I think you would like this other video that we make.